Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Corey and you're my rubber ducks for the evening. And this is the series of episodes where we are creating Tang, a programming language, a scripting language really. We are writing it from scratch. We are creating our own scripting language, our own programming language. And we're using it with C++, modernish C++, and uh, skills such as uh, or using tools such as Flex, Bison, Google Test, ICU. And then, of course, Vim is our text editor. We're doing everything in a terminal window. And, yeah, this is the documentation of this project. And, of course, we're recording it for a YouTube playlist, which is probably where you're seeing this, unless you're seeing this really far in the future. <laughs> so let's see our normal stuff that we do at the beginning. Um, remove everything and then start our make again. And... What did I say that we we're doing in this one? Um, episode 79, creating a command line interpreter for Tang. So what we want to be able to do is do something like, uh, there, there we go. Tang and feed in like fib, fib, like Fibonacci dot Tang. <laughs> That's what we want to do. All right, uh, we can't do that yet. We, we've, we're going to have to uh, write this tool, this command line tool. And I've always said nothing up my sleeves. I don't have anything pre-prepared. In fact, if we say get status, there are no differences and get log. The last commit we did was the end of episode 78 where we updated our docs. So that was the last thing that we did. And now what we've got to do is, well, we need to uh, get started. In fact, I think I need to change some stuff around just so that uh, you can see. I'm not sure. Anyway, for the moment, um, we are going to create a program called Tang. That's what we're doing. All right, so um, just for the moment, I'm going to touch uh, a file and it will be source slash tang dot cpp. Does that already exist? I hope not. No, we've got tang base. There, we don't have something called tang. Okay, so touch tang dot cpp, and now uh, the make file. So we're going to have go down to the very bottom. And these are, well, those are the commands. These are the unit tests, the shared library. Let's, um, there, and instead of shared library, we're going to say, this is going to be command line utility. How about that? <laughs> And um, it is not going to be the target. It's going to be Tang. There we go. And what does it require? Um, Apter um, target. Of course, it also will need source slash uh, tang.cpp and, and a few other things. Like uh, we know it's going to need uh, include, uh, it may just be well you know what? Tang. Tang.hpp which in turn should include everything else. Um, I think it's going to need uh, base.hpp. Okay, and now uh, it's not going to be compiling tang command line utility and Let's see, we probably need something from here instead. So let's do, 
uh, flags. include and it is not dash shared dash o at and then this is the first item in the list so uh, first item in this list there we go that's what the caret means I think um, no 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 it would be sorry it would be that Yeah. I wonder if that's everything we need. It might be. Uh, let's now... We don't need a unit test for it, but we do under... Hmm. Make test. Well, that's all of these. And then wait for the changes. Okay, what else? Dur and Tang. Okay. So what about all? Where is all? That is just the target, and we're going to add to that. The command line utility. All right. See what happens uh, for the command line utility. Main doesn't exist because we haven't written it. OK, I think we're off to an OK start. Um, I'm exiting the make file so that Vim can have a fresh start at life. And source uh, tang.cpp. And if we just have void main, well, it should be int main. Um, return zero, which means no errors. If we just have that, compiles with no errors. That's always a good thing. Now if we pound include tang.hpp, okay. Now, we're going to need to start uh, pound including a few others. Uh, IO stream. Do we need IO manip? I don't know. We might. All right, so. <clears throat> this is going to be slightly different. We need a file to execute. So I'm going to touch a file and fib.tang. Do I just put it here in the main? In fact, Suppose one were to look at the GitHub website. GitHub core EP1. Uh, 
do we have Tang? Yeah, there's Tang. Look at all, look at all that activity. Um, there. In fact, no, we're grabbing all of that. Um, V, G, and this should be, what's my own syntax? Function. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't get all that. Copy. Um. Probably because I didn't have it on insert mode. That's fine. Uh, let's try this again. The reformat. There. It should just print out the 10th Fibonacci number, which if I remember is 55. I could be wrong. And on the right hand side, <clears throat> what we want to do is I want to say um, make test and then sure, why not? And then afterwards, um, build apps tang and we'll feed in fib dot tang you know what even better is it time yeah <laughs> so that's all it's doing okay um another thing we can do Can we do that? Oh, that's all of the... Uh... Hmm. I don't think it's going to like that. Instead of test, why not just do all now so what's happening is I'm telling it to watch dash in one and you know what uh, instead of running the time command there it's not doing anything however now uh, if I do this and I say uh, see out high and compile it it should compile and it's compiling it and it's running it each second and if over here on the left hand side uh, H top we should see that it is running there at the bottom that non-stop okay great it's there it's working now First thing that we want to do is we want to be able to feed in. I mean, this this very thing right now, right here, the 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 Fibonacci program, uh, and we can't do that. That is, um, CN is an input string, and it's a it's a stream, an I/O stream, and I think WSL view. Uh, uh, what is this called? docs html index there we go should open and i'm going to get this back to doing what i wanted it to do and what i want to show you is how does our language work if we look at the example where did i put that right here 
uh, we call Tang, and uh, that is Tang Tang Base Compile Script. Well, Compile Script in turn just creates a program and it feeds in the script. Um, and so, in fact, Tang. Uh, Tang base, there we go. And uh, when we say compile it, we're feeding in a string and it just passes that along to program. It, in fact, it returns a program. So what does program do? Well, program takes in a string and it uses the string. Um, in fact, here's the weird part and we're going to be fixing this. So we're going to uh, do this, but I'm going to add the include for tang base, the source for tang base, the include for program, and then the source for program. Yep. All right. So all of these exist, and I can show you. So if we look at compile script right there, we see that. Uh, we just pass through to program and it would be nice if we could pass in a string stream why because well let's look at program when it's when we create a program we pass in a string and that gets passed to um, well I mean it, it gets put in there it is code um, it gets copied over and then we call this parse immediately. And parse goes through and what does it do? It creates a string stream with the string and then passes that to the scanner because the scanner uses a, a string stream or uses a, yeah, it does, a, a string stream which is a form of stream. Okay, and so now the question is, is can we change this so that instead of create okay option number one is to read all of cn into a string okay so that means writing a loop and calling read line and putting new lines in between um, and then pasting it back together into one big string hand it off where it just gets converted back into a string stream or we can call it directly and calling it directly is what we want. So here's what I want to do. Um, of course, we're looking at what is tang base tang. And I want it to be tang. And if, uh, where is this window? There we go right here um, compile script and I want to give it C in and then dot out Should we add an inline or not? I think not. Okay, that is a, a very, 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 very basic program. Let's see what's going to happen. Of course, it's not going to compile uh, because we it'll, it's going to say here, hey, I don't know what to do with a string stream. I only know how to take a string. So let's add that. And here we have our Tang base. And we've got make shared and let's do compile template. And this will be a well, no. 
an I stream to the Tang template. Okay? And I stream. We don't want it to be a copy. We want it, we want it to be the exact thing. I was just thinking, should we? Yeah, it, it's not const. Okay. So if we I stream, um, do we need pound include IO stream? Uh, we might not need to. That's okay. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, now, if we're going to do this, we need to store. No, we don't. We're just passing through. Okay. So I hit save. And now it's going to complain because it's saying, well, I, yeah, it still doesn't know what to do. Um, cannot convert iStream. Uh, hmm. Didn't I just write this compile? Oh, wait. because I'm calling compile script. You know what, we're gonna do it with both. Compile script. And it's just going to pass through. Now, of course, the problem is, is that it hasn't been declared. What do we do with that? I'm glad you asked. Um, let's go to the next one. So we've got compile script and compile template. Um, there we go. Now we've got both of them. Uh, and this is now going to be an I stream ampersand, and we're just going to pass it through. And this is going to be, uh, we'll do it here. I stream ampersand, ampersand. And you know what? This const string ampersand, those should be const string. Ampersand is going to give me a uh, thing here for just a moment until I add const string ampersand and const string ampersand. Okay. So I'm not going to like it because now it's going to say uh, we don't know um, what to do. Okay. I stream. <laughs> I stream, you stream, we all stream for I stream. Um, Ninety one, wait. Wait, should those be const? I don't know. All right, so in no matching function call for program. So we can't create the program. Why? Because we don't, the program doesn't know how to handle this. Okay, so believe it or not, we are making progress. So it's, it is to where we are trying to compile this one and this one. And it's saying, you cannot just give me an I stream. Um, and I'm going to say, well, why not? And so that's what we're about to fix. So 
the problem is pro is this program yes this is in the program and we've got a constructor that will take a string we're going to need obviously another constructor there we go that will take um, an i stream to the code okay and this will be i stream ampersand um, this one however should be a const standard string ampersand I can't believe I didn't have those as that anyway now um, where are we going to store it? At the bottom. <laughs> so these, where do we have code? Oh, string code. We need um, an I stream code. So this is going to be um, I stream. And it is going to be quite f truly an optional I stream, and we will call it I stream code. Sure. Now uh, it's going to do a lot of compiling. It's probably going to complain that it doesn't know what optional is. So, oh no, we've already pound included optional. That's good. All right, so let's go to the next one. And because this one right here, um, this will be a const string ampersand because I added that. And now this is going to be an I stream ampersand code and I stream code. Nah, that's fine. All right, so what's it not liking? No match, no matching function for call to optional basic I stream with whatever I've provided it. Hmm. Does it need to be a reference to an I stream? I don't know. I've never used uh, this. I've never used an ice an ice stream in this way. Let's we'll see if it likes it or not. On the right hand side, the com compilation may look a little weird, and it's because I'm compiling it with dash j something, so it's doing multiple at the same time. So it will start, you know, compiling something and then. Um, something else. Look, though, we've got a an error, and it's just so it's like it's trying to do more than one. So what we'll do is we will just say make all, and we'll see where the error is. That's fine. AST node. Um, Hmm. 
So... Can we do that? I'm not thinking so. Since I didn't work. It may not have a reference type. Okay. So. How do we have an optional to an I stream? While that is going, It's not liking this. Let's check out the, uh, read, try to read the error message a little closer. Oh, the standard template library gives such ugly error messages. Um, and this doesn't really help. Um, it's just saying, yeah, we can't deal with that. And you know what? It might be easier to say, um, oh, why am I saying it's easier? I mean easier to read the error message might be might doesn't mean it is all right no match for operator equal um basic i stream char and So, okay, here's the error. I mean, the error message that we're looking at here is it says use of a deleted function. So we've got the basic I stream, char t, char, that's the templating um, reference, basic I stream. So that's the return type of operator equal. Um, It's saying it can't do this equal between these two. Hmm. So, yes, I'm thinking. This is just one of those things of what's the right way of telling C++ how to handle it because I'm evidently 
there's a nuance that I'm that I don't know off the top of my head. And the problem is, I mean, I do know this that I stream is it that What would happen if I did that? And in the, I had to match it here. Of course, it's going to have to compile a bit before we get to the error. Okay. And again, we've got the use of the deleted function. And yet somehow I don't think that's is going to like that either. want to look back at the optional reference So this is what I expected, or at least the, the kind of behavior I expected. And that is, okay, in this example, I should probably make it larger for you. S1 and S2 are both optionals, okay? Uh, but here, S1 is, it's just a direct assignment. Even though it's an optional, it's taking that. And it's like, well, why isn't it working here? Again, I haven't used optionals a lot, so obviously I'm missing something. Uh, but it's saying it can't use an op operator equal for an optional between a standard basic iStream of char and iStream, which is a standard basic iStream of char. Um, and of course, if I put the asterisk there which will be the uh, you know resolve to it then I've got a different error of I can't do that can uh, 
I do that. It's protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, what can I... Because the funny thing is, you know who uses this? The string stream. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, our parser. So, but it's probably not using an optional. So here's what I'm getting at. Okay, uh, on the right hand side, right here behind me, up there, if I go into, uh, let's see, build, generated, and there is tank parser. No, that the parser is bison, tank scanner. Okay. And where is this going to be? It takes a stream buffer. Okay. Okay, so yy input file. Is what I'm looking for. Yyn dot read buff and yyn Oh, these are all the rules that were generated. <laughs> we'll come back to this. How about that? See... An ice stream, a pointer, is that what I need to do? There. No. Arg YYN. So it's an iStream ampersand, so it doesn't get copied, which is why I was doing the ampersand first. And we're getting the read buffer. We're asking for the read buffer, and that is that's what we're storing. Hmm. So is there a way of creating this 
with the YYN of the read buffer. So I just want to be able to pass in CN. You know what? Okay. I think I have a solution. And that is my optional is going to be a put it on the wrong side, Corey. A pointer to an ice stream. And up here, it's going to be that ampersand code. And now this needs to be an ampersand again. That was a lot more work than I intended for it to be, okay? Uh, but now if I run my make, it's having to remake everything because we saved program.hpp. Oh, program was not executed. Hey, that means we're past it though. Okay, I can deal with this. So let's uh, just run this in an, in an, in a loop. And this is not uh, there. That's what that should have been, I think. All right, and now undefined reference to Tang Tang Base. Oh, this is in the uh, linking. So evidently, if we look at the uh, compile line, build. We don't have the library included. And we need that. So what does it look like when we compile our tests? Right? Or for these... Oh, Tang library. Is that what that is? Yep. So I think we need to put that on our command line. Bad week point. Where on earth is that happening? <laughs> oh! I know. Uh, the problem is, is that the program, well, let me just back up for a moment. And, and we're going to open all of our files. Okay. That's not where I expected the problem to be then. Okay, so the bad weak pointer. Well, there we go. And if we 
GDB build apps tang Mm. We're calling it with CN directly. Before we go any further, If I give it an empty string, do I get the same? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm leaving it with an empty string. That way I can call a GDB with build apps tang run backtrace. Okay, so what's it not liking? Throw a bad weak pointer. Tang base. Shared from this. And it's in compile script. Tang base.cpp line 39 right here. And that is a bad weak pointer. Why? So this may be a, a problem that is a little deeper than I was originally thinking. So this is the backtrace. So main it, so it's on line 9 of main, and that's going to be right here where we call compile script. So call we're calling compile script with an entry, blah, blah, blah. And there we're getting shared from this. Um... That's odd. It's very odd. I mean, obviously it's doing something that I'm not expecting, but it is in the compile on line 39. That, if I go back there, And I'm not able to pass it the shared from this. Why? My first thought was that, well, Tang base or, or Tang may be going to be going away. But it's not. And we don't get this error in all of our tests. What if we do this? No, that didn't cause the problem. See, I'll tell you what my my original thought was. My thought was, oh, we may have been using um, is that where the problem is? Sorry, I'm going back to 
our example. I don't think that this is going to solve it. No, it's just because that's an equivalent form. What I thought was that maybe I was doing this. And the problem is program must, in fact, here. All right. I would have assumed, would have assumed that that would have worked, but then this would have gone away and, okay. A constructor, yeah. Should never be called directly. Oh, hey, I think I figured out why. <laughs> it's almost, uh, Wow, if I had only read my own instructions. Okay. But now at this point, we don't have compile script with nothing. If we give it that, it's still failing. It's like it's... You know what? I'm wondering if I just am going about this all wrong. It should be this make shared. And I bet if I look up test, test CPP, looky there, I have the wrong documentation. Tang base, make shared. Let's fix that, shall we? <laughs>
make shared. All right, and while that's recompiling, now um, Now it works. Oh my, some days. This should not have been that difficult. All right, so we're not doing anything now. Okay, we're still feeding in fib tang. So if I change this to cn, it won't do anything. Why? Because now for the program.cpp. So we've got a couple things. First of all, if we created the program with a string, then the string is populated. However, if we created a program with an iStream, then iStream code is populated. And that is, um, it is an optional pointer to an input stream. So what we need to do is we need to say, Um, this arrow iStream code, if it's true, then it needs to be this arrow iStream code, else it needs to be a string stream of this arrow code. All right, now, Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, the problem is Okay, the problem is, is I don't want this to. Unique pointer to a Tang scanner. And we will call this scanner. But I don't want it to be initialized to anything. And now, if this arrow it, I stream code, then scanner is equal to make unique. Will this work like Tang scanner, but give it? this arrow i stream code comma see out else scanner is equal to make unique 
thing scanner. So the problem was a moment ago, I was trying to use a ternary because I think that they're very elegant. Um, but iStream code is a different type than SS, which is a string stream. Um, string stream of this arrow. Can I do it? Can I do it that way? Uh, I don't think it's going to like that. So, line 35, which, so which one is it not like? The first one. <laughs> um, no matching function to call for Tang scanner of a basic I stream char star ampersand <laughs> um, those should cancel out though candidates are i stream ampersand oh Surely it's not that simple. Nope. Tang scanner. Oh, that's with an optional. So I definitely needed that. And now the optional thing went away. We have a basic I stream, blah, blah, blah. Is it a double D reference? More errors went away. Now line 38, which is the second one, blah, 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 there. Um, cannot bind a non-const L value reference of type iStream ampersand to an R value. Oh, I need a semicolon. <laughs> oh my. Look, remember I said 55 is the 10th one? Is the 10th Fibonacci number, I thought? It's doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. This is more monumental than it looks. Basically, what we've done is, I know that the title was, hey, we're gonna make a command line thing, blah, blah, blah. No, what we did is we expanded, so our program can now take either 
a string or an an i stream, so cn, um, and we can parse either one of those. And why am why am I using a unique pointer? Because uh, that allows me to to declare a scanner here, and then I can use it here. But how it's initialized is different depending on the content. Okay, and because how it's initialized uses different types, I couldn't just simply use the ternary. So all right, and then since it's a unique pointer, when it goes out of scope here at the end of the um, at the end of the file, then it um, it releases itself. So that's good. And what else? So compile script of CN. And so that means we're feeding in something. And I just want to there. You know what? I'm kind of scared to see what this is going to do. Because we have not worked on performance at all. Huh. It's taking about a, a second to calculate, and it wouldn't take anywhere near that long. Uh, and I'm intentionally using a very, very slow approach. What would happen if I asked for the 40th? This should take significantly more time significantly more yeah in fact we may not have time to sit around and wait <laughs> there we go we've got one of them pegged out <laughs> And I have no idea what it's doing. Uh, because, okay, so there's a couple things that are missing from this. Uh, that things that could be there, but they're not. Uh, number one, we've got the need to... Um, well, we can't output stuff intermittently, right? It's the, the way that this will run is... Uh, It's going to compile it. It's going to execute it. We're not going to see the result until it's done executing. That's probably a bad thing in, in general. Um, yeah. <laughs> we might be able to fix that. I'm not sure. Uh, but maybe there's other things, uh, other command line arguments we could pass in. Because right now this is so stupidly simple. And it was just, oh, I needed to call make shared and uh, get all of my types right. But you know what? Okay, fine. We're, we're at a good place. Um, I'm going to change this back to 30 because I know it will do that in a second. Um, but let's... Oh, it finally finished running. 1 minute 57 seconds. <laughs> to calculate the 40th Fibonacci number. And just for the sake of argument, um, uh, vim fib.tang and fib.py. Um, Uh, 
there. No. Python 3. <laughs> and we got a different number. Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, because I put it on 30. There, run it again with 40. Wait a second. Okay. We'll just let that run for a moment. Um, it's going to be faster than mine. Definitely. I haven't done any optimizations. And Python 3 is pretty fast uh, for its optimizations that it does. So, uh, in the meantime, get status. Not get status, get diff. There we go. It's, in, it's done in 17 seconds, whereas mine took right at 2 minutes. Okay. So what is that? Uh, six times faster? Less than an order of magnitude? Really? Calculator? This is standard calculator. Um, one minute 57, that's 100, not 120 seconds, 117 seconds. Um, yeah, 6.8. It's less than an order of magnitude slower. Okay. That has my attention. That's a lot better. I, w I was thinking we'd be two two orders of magnitude slower. Okay, uh, let's go back. We we've added our command line utility. Um, that's in, all in the make file. We've added all of this looks correct. So I'm going to say git add fib dot tang source dot tang dot cpp just remove that file um, and what are we committing Uh, let's see. Command line. Utility and. To read from. It an input. Stream. Not just a. string oh, I shouldn't have pushed it because we still need to do our make uh, docs PDF that's fine because we've added stuff to program and to tang base There. 
Just want to make sure. Okay. Not as bad as it normally is. For episode, what episode number are we on? 79. Episode. Episode 79. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I was going to update our 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 master to-do list, but I don't want to do that yet because I don't think we're done with the command line. It, it needs more options. It needs, yeah, it needs command line flags and the ability to maybe pass in a string to evaluate. So, okay, well, we'll, we'll just wait up, hold off on that. Uh, so get tag episode 079 our message is episode 079 079 all right and with that 10,600 lines, 3,500 lines of comments. Again, not, not too shabby. And again, I am actually really kind of happy about this. Uh, only being two minutes, it, it's still slow, okay? But it was taking, you know, 17 seconds. So uh, about seven times, well, we're about seven times longer than uh than python python 3 that's pretty good and we haven't looked into any optimizations that we can make um not just in simplifying our instructions but our tail call recursion and, and stuff like that so unless it's In our make file, we're using dash og. What if we replace that with o3? And I'm just going to say make clean, make test. This is going to remake everything. I forgot, so we're seven times slower than Python building on our debug release. No optimizations whatsoever. Remember, it was around 17 seconds. Oh, and now we have failing tests. That's always kind of scary. Why? Okay, that's something we're going to have to... Uh, examine oh no that's at 30 And then this may Oh wait, and it may not have no it would have rebuilt it all.
I'm not sure why this isn't passing the tests, though. So maybe before I put too much stock in the, the result of, of this, that we should figure out why the tests aren't passing. Did I even try to do the tests? Oh, I bet I didn't rerun the tests at all. No, no, no. Okay. Oops. I have broken everything. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and fix all of this. Well, no, it's just... See, it did re recompile the command line utility. Um... Is this it's still running it okay we haven't gained much time then <laughs> oops I have broken it all right well you know what put that back put that back and yeah <laughs> 148 and before with everything failing what was it 157 so I didn't gain much but again all right we we know where we can pick up and with that I'm just gonna call it quits for the night and we'll fix all of our tests tomorrow when we come back to the command line and start adding uh, some features to it some flags and arguments so some help text even so once again thank you for joining me and uh yeah hope it was useful <laughs> bye